Hey, it's Mr. Barr. In the last video, I showed you how to fill in frequency tables, two-way frequency tables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create two-way frequency tables. Our goal, I can use statistics to understand the world around me. Why information, also called data, is displayed in graphs and tables all over the place, TV, books, internet. I want to understand this information and be an informed citizen. So yesterday, you completed two-way frequency tables. You filled in the missing numbers. Today, you're going to take all the raw data and create the entire table. You, you're going to fill in all the numbers. So this will be an example. We start with the data. A bunch of people are asked about playing golf and playing soccer. So you can see, of the people I asked, 23 said they play soccer. And so I put this, do they play soccer? Yes, 23 total play soccer. And 10 total don't play soccer. So I'm filling in this table. Do they play golf? Plays golf. 16 people said yes, they play golf. See that 16? It's that 16 right here. And 17 said no, they don't play golf. So what I've done is I've taken the data that was given to me and used it to fill in four spots of the table. The thing is, four is not enough. I need five pieces of information in order to finish this. So there's always going to be a bonus piece of information given. And in this case, of the 23 kids who play soccer, of these 23 kids right here, 10 of them also play golf. So plays soccer, plays golf, 10 people play soccer and play golf. So I fill in my table with this information, and then I put in my bonus information, and now I can fill in the rest of the table using the method that you learned in the last lesson. 10 plus 6 equals 16. 13 plus 4 equals 17. So I can fill in all of these values using the information from yesterday, or from the last lesson. OK, so that was an example. This next one we're going to do in our notes. So here we go. In our notes, creating two-way frequency tables, getting it ready for you right now. Still getting it ready for you right now. Getting out my notebook. So our title is Creating Two-Way Frequency Tables. Start with your name. And our title is Creating two-way frequency tables. You're going to be given data. So let's copy our initial data into our notes. What we're going to say is likes pizza, so yes to pizza, so how many people like pizza? Well, 10 people like pizza. How many people don't like pizza? 20 people don't like pizza. How many people like tacos? 
15 people like tacos. How many people don't like tacos? 15 people don't like tacos. This is not enough information to make the table. We need a bonus piece of information. And there's our bonus piece of information. Let's write down the word bonus. Of the 20 kids who do not like pizza, that 20 is not the bonus information. We already have that 20. See that 20 right there? It's that 20 right there. That's the same information. This is not our bonus information. Of the 20 kids who do not like pizza, 15 also do not like tacos. And now we have all the information we need to fill in our final four by four table. So what we're gonna have here is pizza, yes, pizza, no, taco, yes, taco, no. And what this is, is a total and a total. Now, I realize you wrote down the information right here, but that's also up here on the screen, so I can use it right here. So pizza yes is 10. My pizza yes is 10. And that's coming from right here. This is the same 10. My pizza no is 20. My pizza no is 20. My tacos yes is 15. My tacos yes is 15. And my tacos no is 15. My bonus is right here. Of the 20 kids who do not like pizza, 15 do not like tacos. So I've got 15 kids that don't like pizza or tacos. No to pizza, no to tacos, 15 kids. At this point, you can fill in the rest of the table. So let's fill it in. I'll use my blue pen. 15 plus 15 is 30. 10 plus 20 is 30. That's working. Let's see. Something plus 15 is 20. It's going to be a 5. 5 plus 15 is 20. Something plus 5 is 15. Well, it's going to be a 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. And this, I know it seems weird, but this is going to be a 0, isn't it? 0 plus 15 is 15. 10 plus 0 is 10. Does it work? Yes, it works. So what does this mean? I've got 10 kids that like pizza and tacos. I've got five kids, kids that only like tacos. I have 15 kids that don't like tacos or pizza. I have no kids that like pizza, but don't like tacos. So pizza kids are pretty easy to place. If you like pizza, you like tacos. And that's how it works. And there's our answer. And I'm going to do another one with you. Right here, I've got all the information. I've got my drawing tablet. I have a calculator ready to go just in case I need it. Let's see if we can do this. So I have 59, 110, 65, 
104. That's all this information up here. Of the 110 kids, that's not the bonus, 30 of them get good grades. Of the 110 kids right here, of these guys right here that don't like dress code, 30 of them get good grades. Get right there, 30, there's my bonus piece. And now I fill it in. Let's see, this is gonna be a 35. 35 plus 30 is 65. It's gonna be an 80. 30 plus 80 is 110. And this one I'm gonna use a calculator, 59 minus 35. Uh-oh. 24. 24 plus 35 equals the 59. Let's come across this way. This is going to take us to a 169. I'm checking it this way also. It works. Got all the numbers in there. Let's do another one. There's the answer key. Start filling it in. Yes to Hawaii, 250. No to Hawaii, 13. Yes to New York, 124. No to New York, 139. Bonus information. Of the 139, so out of this, these kids right here, so it's going to go right in here. It's either going to go here or here. 130 want to go to Hawaii. 139. 130 want to go to Hawaii. All right, let's fill in the rest of this. 130 plus 9 is 139. 13, let's see, 9 plus 4 is 13. 120 plus 4 is 124. And uh, 250 plus 13 is 250, no, 263. And I'm going to check it this way also. Is that 263? Yes, it seems to be working. Let's see, how did I get do? Let's check it out. One twenty four, one twenty four, one thirty nine, one thirty nine, two sixty three. I got it right. Good job, Mr. Barr. Good job. Let's try another one. We have one more here. All right. How many kids want to go to college? Three twenty. How many kids don't? Ninety eight. How many kids want to get a job? Two seventy four. How many kids don't want to get a job? 144. I need my bonus piece of the 98 kids, so it's somewhere in here. It's either going to be right here or right here. Of the 98 kids, 78 are not going to get a job. Want to get a job? Don't want to get a job. 78 goes right there. And now we are ready to fill it in. Let's see, 20 plus 78 equals 98. 254 plus 20 is 274. Calculator time. Let's do two, let's see, 320 minus 254, 66. So 254 plus 66 is the 320, and we need to add it up this way also. So 274 plus the 144 is 418. Let's check it and see if I got it right. And it looks good. Good job, Mr. Barr. Hey, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a marvelous day.